mothers. I want to talk to single mothers today. And I hope you guys know that I am talking from a place of a single mother. Like I said before, we are all broken. Either you like it or not. There is something not working in you. If you were divorced, you had a terrible boyfriend, um, abusive relationship, coercive um, abusive re relationship, whatever you've been through in your past relationship that makes you a single mother listen to me fine woman it's never your fault i want you to know that and there is nothing you did wrong for a man to abandon his children or his child if you feel ashamed you feel guilty you feel horrible that is not your duty unless say now you they carry the picking the run from a good man all right i'll give you mine as example when i lost my first child this guy told me make we leave the baby for hospital make we come out then i was a you know i was a christian i used to go to church i told him now i don't know if now this one picking now god won't give me or if this is a trial, I'm not leaving this baby in the hospital. I am going to see my baby girl being buried. I am going to put a flower on her grave. Don't feel sorry for me, okay? It's not about that. It's for you to know how amazing you are. Don't feel sorry for me, okay? I said to him, I'm going to bury my child. And so I did. I buried my baby. I always go there to put a flower uh, on her grave. And before she, it was horrible. Okay, I feel pain. I was depressed. It was, it was everything going on. So that was in 2015. I lost my first child. In 2016, and um, I was seeing another guy. Actually, I was, you know, I was wiping another guy. So I told this guy, I did do another person. I don't get time to waste. I come on from Italy, come here because of you. And if you know that you're not ready, I, I need to replace that my picking when I lost. If you've been a mom and you've lost a child, I hope you don't. That's why they always so I say, best people where they cost me, but in way happened to me also know that wow now why I love her face, you know. And so I I said to him, if you know, say you know what you let me go so he was he keep telling all those guys hey do you know that you had the baby for me do you know that we're married this is what this was someone when i came you know when i was in italy i used my totote serve god i used my money moon i go ask for piacenza now me first day when i go church <laughs> first day when i go church they were looking for rent i stand up so i'll pay the rent for the church that's how crazy i was it was the first it was my first time in church and people were looking at me hey, hey, hey which money you get you know and um, so i use my money my total to serve god i use my money to serve god i use everything when i get to serve god now me now pastor go go nigeria i go leave your family to i go take care of your family not be say should be the mama fly before he come you understand so when i came i told him i'm a christian you know you have to put a ring on it i can't be pregnant and i don't have uh, I'm not married, no ring, no introduction, nothing. Thank goodness he didn't do it. Thank goodness. That's why I always say, don't force a man to put a ring on it. If he's not putting a ring on it, baby girl, take a walk. Okay, I should talk about this book now. What did this book do for my life? You take a walk. Thank goodness he did not put a ring on him. And so I said to him, you, if you know, say you know what I did to give me another picking, another person go give me. You see that my baby, an official now picture, I wish I can. Beautiful. Her lips, eh? He pink. They come, they ask me, people, why I send a picture? I'll give you paint her lips. Now I say no. In mama lips pink. If papa uh, lips like my ex, his, his lips is pinker than mine. So my baby lips was red like say the paint her mouth you know she was beautiful i was i want to replace this child and um, so when i told him he said no no and we keep going you know what leave me okay all those name when i they call get where it come from you know they eat you know let one eat eat if they pursue every man will come and laugh you know say not be lie they lie 
you know, this is pretty difficult to say, but I want to tell you how amazing you are. Before I can't reach where I did so. If you're a single mother, sit very well, get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea or water and sit down and listen to me. Okay, may you enjoy it and may you know how amazing where you be. He said no, Akbanu said no, he said no. I was like, okay. I think we're calling a bona yami a boy go when a black guy no man in a mocking. Why won't I now say okay? You know what? Come on, say no. Me, I want if after we had sex because I was so desperate. If you're a woman that's had a child and you lost a child, you want that child back, and especially when up here is messed up like messed up of losing a child you're confused you don't know what to do you just want the baby back you want to replace the baby at that time i wasn't loved i wasn't told how beautiful i was i never knew i just came from italy i don't know how beautiful i was nobody told me my mother never did my father never did my brothers never did okay a man never told me you are beautiful i never heard it before so i was desperate i thought a baby is going to give me that peace and joy that happiness that i want thankfully yes elizabeth did give me that joy that i want and so in out, i got pregnant i found that i was pregnant i told him it was like you get belay ah, i know fit to you yeah, you get belay are you get belay okay and uh, if you know say you get belay nobody go put paper all of us know get paper you're born no paper i was like okay and uh, you want to me go back no wala no problem i said to him you know what that's it i'm not doing that's it i'll do this thing myself and first time when i told him he said hi huh, really i said i was joking so february that was when i was like i tell za i'm like hey i'm really pregnant are you in or out he wished me good luck and i was like yeah that's good thank you and um, so throughout the pregnancy uh, <laughs> i didn't have sex it was horrible pretty horrible but thank goodness i had my finger and um, so i had my child it was i don't know what to say to you i was worried every time so i this pattern mother you have to know the power that you have you have to know the power you carried because of that first baby that I lost. So every time when I was pregnant, immediately I do like this. Mama, you that I knew was a woman or it was a girl. And because of, you know, you're a mother, you're, you just know. So when I touch my stomach, immediately my baby will give me that. It's like, mom, don't worry. I'm here. Don't be worried. So when I remember the baby that I lost, I'll just go. My pregnancy was, I think, um, four weeks, two months. The baby started leaping in my stomach. Okay, everybody they tell me say second pregnancy now so they be. I say not be this one. This one, no way till mama they go through. This one. We start to jump for my belly. Boom. For two months pregnancy. We see be blood. I can feel it like this. Leap every time reminding me. I'm here to stay, mom. Don't be worried, you know. And so I went through all that. My brother, no number bon. He was paying my rent from Nigeria every time that's why we five and six i know they used that my brother teddy play and i was struggling i was suffered i went through a lot in my pregnancy i met so many guys okay and um, i've always had that confidence that mind of i get belen on me say i know be i know i know be woman or i know fine or anything when i was pregnant i meet few guys i was talking to them once i chat them i say i'm pregnant they're like eight months pregnant oh my god really some of them were you know they kind of have this fetish of sleeping with a pregnant woman i say to them my video goes viral i never had sex with anyone when i was when i was pregnant and I said to them, I'm respecting my child. I'm not doing anything. Maybe be two months. You know, I had sex after two months because I was just like, you know, everything was there. I had my baby. I took that. It was in 2016. I left. I was, people say, no, go put hand down. No, put hand down. If you put hand down, they don't give you paper. Now, you can, you deal. They don't give Nigerian people. They don't grant them asylum. I told them my case is different. Okay. I took my tiny baby. She was tiny. She had jaundice when she was born. I think you people know jaundice. What is it called in Nigeria again? 
I can't remember where the baby's eyes are kind of, um, how do you say, yellow, you know. She had jaundice when she was born. Um, um, she had jaundice. So um, I was really, really scared. She was tiny. I carry her. I go and I started with, I think it was a food bank. I went to a food bank. From food bank, they took me to the... Um, say i should go to social services social services were paying me so when they came to the room i was living they're like no you need a big place for the baby and you have to go meet the council i got to the council council was like madam bring your passport i'm like what pass i don't have they're like who say you come here you have to go but you need a passport you have to be a resident for we to give you a house what are you doing here i was like really I went back to the lady. It's a long story. She told me to go back to, um, I went back to the lady and they said, you have to go to this place. I got there. They said, okay, you have to go claim asylum. Me no, I have mind. I'm not scared of anything. Nothing. They fear me like nothing. So I went to the home office. It was in Croydon. At that time I was in London. I went to Croydon. I went inside. I said to them, I want to claim asylum. And they said, okay, with your baby. Yeah. So when I got in, my tiny baby and myself, I was stressed. You could see the look. Oh, my God. I probably will post some picture. I was stressed. And so when I got there, I claimed asylum. We have to wait for a long time. If you claim asylum in the UK, it's so stressful. And I claimed asylum. And then, and then, and then, and then they said to me, oh, madam, you know, we're supposed to ask you a question, but because you, we don't know, the, 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 you were in Italy before and you, you have fingerprints in, in Italy and you have in Switzerland, you have to go. So they give you this idea, I left. And I never got negative. I never get, I never got positive. I was just there like waiting. My case is different, not because I say, or anything. It's just that my case is different having to have this tiny beautiful baby that means my case is different my case is different and so luckily i got fucking granted all right asylum and i'm like yeah i'm a refugee i start getting myself together i start getting myself together upon all the stress i went through i was stressed with a baby I can't tell you how stressed it is, okay? My body went through a lot. I had a baby in 2015, and I had another baby in 2016. So do the math. You're a mother. You're here. Do the math of having a baby in uh, June 2015, and then in August 2016, you had another baby. Do the math and tell me how long that is. So just imagine what, what I went through mentally to be able to carry that baby, give birth to that baby. I had nothing. My brother, my brother was paying my rent from Nigeria every time. But my money don't finish. He would give them in Ghana. Then the shop will give it to me here in pounds. Sometimes my brother will send me 700 pounds. He will send me 500 pounds. If they were not getting, go send me 450 pounds. As I pay my rent, I'll find Jonah, pay my rent, feed myself. I was the man where I carry picking for was in London. Okay. He had. It was in London. He was walking and he left him because I was pregnant. And I said to him, I'm not going to break. Okay. I will be able to do it today. I can proudly tell you, not for anything, I'm better than him. All right? Better in every way. He not get paper. He not get go. He not get come. All right? I don't wait now when I walk back home. I can say. What I'm trying to, why I'm always telling my story is for you to know my videos I've been carrying today. This video now when I carry, when I talk, they're going to carry it and say, easy said, easy said, easy said. My videos are everywhere. I'm grateful for that, guys. Thank you. But you watching me, you don't know what easy is gone through. You don't know where I have been. You don't know my story. And I'm sharing with you. If you're a single mother, in all of this, I never thought about relationship. My mindset was, I want to be a better woman. I want to be a better human being. Right from Nigeria, I did not know how to read or write. 
rhapsody of reality it's not because oh now god is god miracle it was my dedication okay god not a job put for your head say ah miracle no how it was my dedication every rhapsody i remember tracy we were doing you know road work together then she was going to christ embassy she always buy me rhapsody of reality was two euros i think and she'll read some parts with me and then when i go home and read some part that was how i started knowing how to read from italy italy is not a, a place where you write or speak in Eng you you talk write and talk in english I started reading and started practicing how to write and everything. That was my determination. It's not because it was a religious book, okay? It was because I was determined to be a better person. So I came to the UK. I was like, whoa, every book is written in English. And I'm just going to carry every book. When I go to charity shop, if I don't see anything carry come out for charity shop, I get a book. I get a book. If I not read that finish, at least I go read half of that book. I did that for so many times. Some of you come here in the UK. I went to school for two years just to know English, just to know how to read more and how to write more. If you're a single mother, what you need is not a man. What you need for your children is not a man. It is you and a brain for you. You need yourself a brain. You need you to be a better person. You know, say, oh, I brought three children, three papa, four children. Three. Let the men be ashamed, lady. You did not impregnate yourself. Imam Kogbera. And so you didn't. You did not impregnate, impregnate yourself. You have to know that. Someone slept with you and left. Why do you think you have to feel ashamed for them? Why do you think so? If anybody, they laugh you, tell them to go look for the man and shame him. Why should he have to be your headache? Why do you have to explain to people why you're single? Why you have to the children to the papa? Is it your fault? If you go market, go back to the children to the papa, then are they come for you? Are they come for you? Say, girl, are you sleeping? You go market, go back to the children, to the papa. No, another human be had sex with you and left you with the responsibility. Why would you feel guilty for them? I want to know. Why? All you need is not another man. You need yourself a brain. Be a better woman. You listening to me. You listening to, that's what you need. I tell you, if you put poison for my head give my ass say do you want her back if they run they call a machine put poison say this poison go kill you you want his young way back he go say yes but it's not getting i blocked him everywhere and another thing you know another thing if you don't want to be a father it's fine my Peking don't know anything as father apart from me you know why? If you don't deserve the place of a father, you, anybody can impregnate a woman. Not everyone deserves to be called a father or a daddy. Google it. Google what daddy means. Daddy is a man who lives under the same roof with his children. Who changed the nappy? Who changed um, the child? Who wear the child's clothes? Who pay the lights be? Who pays the rent for the house where they pick in the state? That's the definition of daddy. And a father is someone who is biological responsible for a child. And he knows he's responsible for this child. It's not a father. It's a sperm donor. A local sperm donor. The one with the under. You know on that one. Just an ordinary sperm donor. It's not a well-known. Because there are well-known sperm donors. Okay, they know they say that they bring their spam come for women to be able to carry children. They know them. They that impregnate you had sex with you and left does not deserve the place of a father. It, it disgusts me when I see you get angry and say, and you're better. Your dad is crazy. Never mention his name. Never. It does not 
deserve it. I never. That was the mistake I never did. No matter how angry I was, no matter how frustrated I was, I always at the back of my head remember my child is an innocent. Who do I swear near? For what? It does not deserve it. A gohia bera is a panamera for what? I say four years. Also, I know it. Where's my daddy? You always say my daddy, my daddy. Never give him the privilege for his name to be mentioned in that house. Never, unless it's a good father, because there are lots of men who are absolutely horrible husband, horrible boyfriend, but they are brilliant daddy. They are brilliant father. They feel on your house, sleep for couch, just to make sure they see their picking. I beg you, give them the opportunity to see their children. Give them the opportunity to love their child. Give them the opportunity to see their children. You see that one. We say what turn you to single mother. That one. We say what turn you to single mother. Don't never get upset and say your father. Don't mention his name. Never do that. I never did. This is what I did. My daughter never, 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 never will she say my father and eh, mama. Where's my father? She's very intelligent. Okay. My daughter, then one year, when she did speak beneath for man, they chop her like, like food. She's clever, picking where they're born for abroad. You all know how clever and intelligent they are. From four years old, they don't they ask you where they are, papa. My daughter never did because I never mentioned his name. But you know, they pepper me rich, they need to hear She don't even they see me get angry. She never. Why, how is it your fault? How is it your fault that you got impregnated and you're carrying the body? You are not responsible to feel bad for what you did not do to yourself. Okay? You have to know that. It's very important. When you're single and you're broken, you have all these things going on. The least thing you need is a relationship. You know, if you just fuck me, you climax and say, I'm not ready yet. You're not ready. I'm under renovation. I'm under renovation. Get a book and read. Get a book and read. Better yourself. Some of you single mothers that are looking for a boyfriend, if they ask you now, you have nothing to offer. You have nothing to offer. Some women, sorry ladies, you guys know, like, I be an ambassador. I stand for you. I don't care if I don't get men in support of this. Enough is enough. We have to have a woman that stand for a woman. Some of you cannot hold the conversation. Come on, tell me about yourself. You can't. How do you think you need a man? How do you think? Toto is sweet. When my fuck Toto. It go one stay, say this Toto sweet. But if brain not follow that Toto, you can't keep him. You can't. If you cannot hold a mature conversation with a man, not only that, you feel good about yourself because what you give is what you receive. What you are, how you see yourself is how people see you. If I was still that girl, and say, oh yeah, I just they manage myself. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just make a pack money go Nigeria. I don't care. I don't care. I will not be here. You will not be talking to me. I will not be here with you. I know come to tell you this thing when I know. You have to better yourself when you see yourself. I was talking to a lady yesterday. Um, she has few problems. You know, struggling with, you know, low self-esteem and all of that. And it's normal. We've all been there. If you're a single mother, you they carry children, they go. It is normal. I say to her, can you boldly look at yourself in the mirror? There's a mirror here. I love mirrors. Can you boldly look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. And tell yourself that you love yourself without 
feeling guilty, feeling bad, feeling any pain, look at you in the mirror and tell you how much you love you. Can you do that? And never complain about how you look because you're a mother. Ah, see my belly. You're telling a man. You're bringing yourself down. You're destroying yourself. You're, 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 you're just, you're, 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 you don't believe in you. How would people believe in you? How you see yourself is how people see you. A single mother, the least thing you need is not a man. You need you. When you invest in yourself, when you, ah, oh, shoot me in the head, fuck me upside down. When you invest in yourself, if man come, the officer, I have a child, you, they talk to them. When they come near you, you open my talk. They will not say a person, they talk. No, no, say not. They're not even they think about you being a mother. What is in your brain? That's what they're focusing on. That's what they're focusing on. You want to better yourself. I don't have lots of money. No books when I like go come out. Why not they buy? Nothing. This Derek Jackson. I follow him on every platform, okay? I follow him on Instagram. I don't do comments to Kiyama. Um, I don't do Twitter. I don't know how Twitter works. Yeah, shock you. Derek Jackson is like ambassador of women, the man version. It's absolutely amazing. If some of you here, you follow um, Derek Jackson. Like, If you say book come out like this, I they run, they go back. Because I know things will go there. It's a single mother for grown men. If you're a single woman, you want to better yourself. There is nothing greater than reading. When you're talking, some people, they talk and they, they're taking, they're writing it down. I don't write it down. Everything I talk, they come out from my head. Now, self-experience. You don't need to go find book. And I know I do video finish. I can't say, hey, I not talk that one. I not talk that one. Everything, they flow because it's natural. If you're single, what you need is not a man. You need you a brain. You need to love because you can never give what you don't have. Remember, you're a broken woman. You are under renovation. That's one thing you need to know. If you get a man now as a broken woman who is under renovation, you're going to get your children the, kind, the, the same kind of man you had before. I tell you, since it's been five years now, I left that relationship. I never, I never give my toto -to, to anyone who is like that. Because when I have a conversation, I get to know who you are. When I chat with you, I get to know if you have a brain or not. A brain is what you need. And put things inside that brain. You can never give what you don't have. When a low self-esteem man come close to you, they're not go container. But if you have low self-esteem, insecurity, you go carry all the jargons, all jargons. Though they break you more, they condemn you more, and tell you how ugly you are, that you are lucky they are with you. You can never see a better man if you leave them. Where you they go? Where are you going? You think you find another man like me? A narcissist is who thinks that way, knowing that you're a woman. Any issue me where me me no ko kuso ma me be anori e yowa. I wa go wa we social media. Now we not know anything. We not know anything. I they grow up that time. Issue me. Oh where me me no ko kuse. And it's a bini tradition. You know, girl, woman they condemn rich. Me not see ma we go put on for house. You go see. But what kind of woman are you to know that this is the kind of man I want? This is the kind of man that I want. You have to first of all know that they'll call you back. You have to first of all know what you want. If you know what you want, when someone asks you, tell me about yourself, you introduce yourself in a very great manner not a perfect manner but in a way you understand and you know you introduce yourself they'll be like mm, wow this is amazing very hard spoken by doing that you need to invest in you you need to invest in you as a single mother invest i know there are a lot of single mothers okay 
who are doing great, who are doing fantastic, who are putting all these things to work. Probably your, this message is not for you. I am talking to those ones who think there's a lady I spoke to two days ago. She said to me, you know, I have three children. I just need a man. I'm like, you don't need a man. If you carry your total command, to feed your children, not batting. I just need a man where they walk, where they get paper, where they go take care of me and my children. You don't need a man to take care of your children. You don't need him. You are broken. You are under renovation. What you need is a brain to figure out what do I need to do next. Why do you think is a man? You're going to get another broken man. It's going to impregnate you. You're going to have a, a fourth child for a fourth different kind the same kind of men grow up you don't need a man you need you knowing that your case is different i'm claiming asylum my case is different people can say you're being proud like i've always been told you're being proud i you tell no say go walk it go walk because my case different my total curry the inside if you sleep with me, you stuck. I always say, they'll say, ah, they go, I go, I go, I go sleep with you, you go stuck, you know, come out again. My case is different. If you put your, uh, your prick for my toto, if you're stuck, you know, one go, this is my own thing. How about you think the same way and say people many for this camp, but my case is different. My case is different. Stick with that. And have that positive mind. And know that at the same time you are beautiful. Jeez. Do you know what it means to have three children? Some of you now una get four children. Una not be like, oh, don't reach where they for don't born before. Your body is so nice. But because you've not been told. You know if you look me or me, you appreciate yourself. And you think you're broken. This is not working. I need a man. You don't need a man, baby. You need a brain. You need a brain. Better yourself. Even if you don't want to read the book. Even if you don't want to do. Go follow Derek Jackson on every platform. On Facebook. Go watch his video. Just go and see what you're going to get. See women's story. For comment session. You go be like, whoa, I'm not alone. If the man does not deserve the place of a father, do not give it to him. Do not. Okay. Oh, what if I want marry? Really? He's never been there. I'll walk you down the aisle. Me, the mom. If I know fit do one, my brother go do one for me. If I know fit do one, I'll go buy ma for market. They'll do one. See soon as they find ma. Okay. I'll go buy my for markets. May come walk my picking down the aisle. Some of you call. You know I can see your picking. You know off that light, off it. Forget about it. When you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. You see this word. I don't believe in charm, in church, in God, in this, in that. I believe in karma. What you give is what you receive. This word is full of energy. What you put out there is what comes back to you. If you give negative, negative come to you. If you give positive, positive come back to you. If you keep stuck, you're stuck with that man. Go see your children. Go see your children. Go see your children. Go see, now so you're dead there. Now that one you focus on. Have that mind of you had those children. Those men were not there. I have this child. That man was not there. Have that positiveness of say this is my battle not to fight and i'm gonna fight it and come out triumphantly and you're gonna fight it and come out even more great beautiful gold shines more more beautiful more amazing when it goes through fire if i tell you what i've been through if i tell you if i tell you what i don't see for all the years where I take come off for Nigeria, you'll be like, where did you find the courage? First of all, you need a brain. When you have a brain, knowing that your business is your business. Some of you women, because of what you've went through in all this men, you're like, 
uh, I don't like men, but I just they sleep with them because if not Toto, they hungry, you go lick Toto. You don't have to be with a man. You don't have to. You listening to me. Because of the trauma you've been through, because of everything you've been through, because of everything you've been through, man, Fide disgust you. I'm telling you. Man, God, at that time I was like, you know what? I don't want to keep any of them. I just want to do Vavak there and tell them goodbye. I just want to do this. And, and I still have that that thing you know, not only woman now they stay around me like we'll enjoy ourselves we'll just stay you know i want to see you again 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 if you let me if you know you don't feel it you need time to heal you need time to heal and you're kind of attracting to women you're going through women go for it and find yourself do whatever you want to do to be a better person do it. Why do you care what people say? That they laugh me. They say, my picking not get papa. Depends on who you are. You they feel me. Depends like me. I don't get that fear because I know say I know they measure Ozigbo name for where my picking day. I know they measure them for where I be I, I be mama, I be papa. I'm everything. He never want to be a father. You don't force them to be a father. He go they look on her from afar. Oh, few boy. You know, it is it thought life will never be good. One thing they start with, what can you offer me? What can you offer? I want to go marry Ibo. Mo Ibo, give me paper. Oh, Ibo, na you not see marry. I first and get the paper. I first and get house. First and get license. First and do everything. House you not get. Oh, bicycle you not get. Paper you not get. Leg you not even sit a waka. When you not say, now nah, you woman. Now you own knife. Now you own yam. You own knife. You own yam. Together. You can't de fear. You can't de shake. Why? If you're a single mom, I'm telling you today. What you need is not another man. You need to heal. You need time to heal. You need time to heal. You need time. Like two years. Before you they think of jumping into another relationship. You want to first of all build yourself. You want to be a better person. You want to be this person that is very outspoken. When they, they feel something they want to talk about it. They just want to. You, you want to be that person. So you're able to communicate with your children. You know you, you, that anger that is in you. You don't want to put it in your children. A broken mother raised a broken children and a broken child. Get it? Get it? Emotionally. Okay? I know so some people go, they laugh on her. Eh, you they, you they do this. You they do this. Your children go be waiting you be. They will be waiting you be. Our children, they are never what they see. They never. Like we, some of Una, uh, Una Papa that I not get house. Today on a gay house, you are never what your father was. Your papa, they beat your mama that time. You know, they beat your wife. So our children are never what they see. They are, they are what you put in them. You see that thing you put in them mentally. That's who they are. Not what they see. They never. Now, my own, I tell you, no, as I crazy, rich. I they mad, I they crazy, okay? Not to wear another top for when my picking day. If my picking see my breast, ah, mama, go put on something. My God, everyone is going to see your breast. The neighbors are going to see your poop. Mama, cover it up. That's what she said to me. Your kids are never what, even if you like the shoe count for your toto, for where your children, they, they vandalize yourself. For what, now you know, they are never what they see. They are never what you told. They are what you put in them mentally. When you torture them, when you love them, those are the things they keep. The love, the hate, those are the things they keep. That your hunger, when you're angry, the way you react to your children, that is who they are. That is who they are. Because it affects them mentally. When you love them, it affects them mentally. It does. 
If my pekin they cry now, the only word where she they say, Mama, I just love you. I just love you. I just want to tell you, I love you. Now my pekin they talk. Now nah, song be that. Because it's what she hear every day. I want to use love to plaster on. I'll plaster and I'll smear her with love. I'll do everything with love. So she go, no, even if I was never loved, you are loved by your mother. You are loved. You need a brain. You can only do that when you're healed. When your anger, you can control your anger. You can control your pain. If you need extra help, go see your doctor. If they put you on antidepressant, take it. Take it. I took it. I listened to my doctors. I took antidepressant for over a year. I did. I did. It stabilized your emotions. It just stab it stable. It it's not like it paralyzed you or something. It just stabilized. You see that and where your children they do bang bang bang. All your own was like. I hear what though. That's all you say. You see that anger, that thing. Antidepressant help you cause it down. It helps you control it. They are not your frustration. Those men are. And you have to know they are, they're gone. Now it's your battle to fight. How do you fight this battle? By being a better person. A single mother again. You don't need a man. You need a brain. You can never give what you don't have. If you're not able to love yourself, you can never love a man. I'm telling you that. If you not love you, you not love yourself. If you not appreciate where you did now, you not feel appreciate anybody. If you not know your past, what you've been through, and come know your present, and try to know you even more, you can never know a man. That's why those, how you take make that mistake. How you take make that mistake. How you take make that mistake. I took time. Somebody said to me, I think I was doing a video. She said, eh, hey, how come when I don't go find bad man finish, when I can't see all of them bad? Pray, may you not be a girl. When you show him where I deal with you, you may not be a girl. Why you go feel, why you not feel so easy? Why you not feel so easy? Many women are they take on, they already don't broke. They, they've already been broken before they come. By their brother, brother, where they send the message, he go sleep with them, he go do this, he go do that. They already worthless. Go enter abroad. Oh, book. I remember I was talking to this woman yesterday. I said to her, You remember in Italy then? For a boat to give you passaggio. Once they give you passaggio, their right hand or their left hand go there inside your toto. Oh, I can't tell you how disgusting that thing is, honestly. I hated it, but I had no choice. They do just pull hand, fami tokare, fami tokare. Don't just with your dirty finger. But you have to let them because you need passaggio. You have to let them because you don't want them to say, okay, you don't want me to touch you. Come down for May Road. And you're going to find another way to go. You have to just go along with it. If you see someone like that, who has been broken by people, Okay, I not break myself. And so do you, you not break yourself. You've been broken by people. People has failed you. How do you think is your fault? All you need is not another man that's going to break you. You need a brain. Get yourself a woman. If that's what it takes. Get you a woman. If you know you are attracted to women, go for it. It relaxes you more. And you have time to think. You can be yourself. You have time to think. Some of you now, single mom, you're fed up with men. You're like, I like that girl, but I don't know what I did feel. Devil, I rebuke you. You not feel rebuke sexuality. You not fit. It got nothing to do with the spirit. It's your body. You can't control. It's your, if belly they pain you, you know, go pray, put, go take medicine. It's, 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 it's within. It's how you were, you were born. It's, it's, it's what it is. It's what your brain is going for. It's what you're feeling. Probably because you've been failed by so many men. You've been broken by so many men. And all of a sudden you find a woman attractive and you love her and you want. Go for it. 
Find a way to be a better person. When you're broken, you don't need an, the same set of people where it break you. You do not need them around you. You don't. You don't need them around you. If you know you're feeling it, go for it. Go for it. If you like me, come talk to me. Okay? Please. It's not your fault. It's not you. It's not you. I carried guilt for so long. My picking on get papa. My picking on get papa. My picking on get. I was like, what the papa what? I realized very early. My daughter is four. She does not know. She never hear. Say I do on the phone. Hey, it's your dad. For what? Do not try it. Listen to me. Some men, you know they are unstable, right? I always say to people, it's better to have one stable parent than to have two crazy parents. Because you, you're crazy for letting an unstable human being in the life of your children. You're unstable. Okay? For you, like this guy, now my ex, is unstable. He's in London. I don't even think he can travel and come here. Let me, I can't say, I can't see your picking. He go, come, now. Nah. Two years again, you know, see her again. Tell him years again, you know, see you're destroying your children. You're destroying your child. One stable parent is better. Oh, but they need father love. Where was it? He died. He died. He died. Wait, be said they are angry with you. They're angry with the children. They like you. They like the children. Once they divest for you, they divest. Why you need that human being around your children? Tell me, come, ask, tell me. Why do you think you need that unstable human being in the life of your children? May, even some of you women, your husband is angry with you. He's angry with your children. I remember back then, it was one time. I don't know what it costs for for my mom and that my dad is so calm. And my dad is, my mom called him, uh, okay, my mom is, once my mama don't calm down, my pa will start, not be fat, you know, I'll talk to you, you know, you know I'll just talk to you. It just, the time when my mom and dad, tell the girl, now I love to the sweet. Say hey, you only enjoy my palm more. My brothers can be my witness. Oh, they enjoy my palm more. Because my mom and dad are very best friend. I said it before. If my mom go today, my pa will go tomorrow. They're that close. They're very, 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 very close. They're closer than twins. The two of them, I don't know. My pa fi key one of the picking for my mom. That's how. That's how close they are. When he and mama don't they, you know, that small, small argument, don't they? Now, that time we they enjoy our papa pass. He go, come, he come, he's go make me food, give me food, give me food. Mama, they say, you never do it, right? La, oh, boy, ya no, eh. Never. Now, that time we they quarrel, now, me and papa. But some women, even this abroad, when your husband, they vest for you, he go, they vest for your children. He own children. He go, pack them, join you. It go the vest. Once you and I don't settle, it settle with your children. The same thing, even if maybe they have a stepfather. He's angry with you. He's angry with your children. A that kind of man that does not have the ability or the brain or the wisdom or the knowledge or the sense to tell no. Say something happened between me and this woman. Got nothing to do with the innocent children. Got not absolutely nothing. Even if they are grown children, they support their mother against you. You have to know that they're fighting for their mother. They're fighting. And you have to support. You have to have the understanding to know that they are protecting their mother. No. Some men don't speak to you. They don't speak to your children. They don't. And they promise to be there for them. To be their father. You think, I need the father for my children. I need, you go carry or give, so give your children. Go damage your children more mentally. He will damage them. He will beat them. When they, when you come, he will put the blame on them. Because you're so in love. You're so stupid. You're so, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. If you go, is the one paying the bill. Where do we go? you join the man. They pursue your children. They go. Because you refuse to see the quality you have. You refuse to see how amazing you are. You refuse to see it. 
If it takes you to beg to take better yourself and your children, do it today. If you say take your toto to take better your children, I say it, yes, I did. If you do it by choice to say to protect my kids, I don't have papers, I don't know what to do, I don't have a job, I don't have a this. If you take your toto to say you want to take care of your children, do it. Do it. You don't need those kids to be broken. You don't want to break them. You don't want to try it. You don't. Those psychological problems with children they get, especially um, that time for London, you they yes, say, uh, these children, this, this, even some Nigerian family, you hear some things where you happen, you say, what, what is this? Something has been broken. The mom refused to see it. The father refused to see it. Why? Because they themselves are broken. They're broken and they're not fixed. If you're not fixed, you cannot fix anything. If you're not savvy so cloth, you carry sewing machine, come and needle go past your hands. When I new start to the sew, I break more than 20 needles. Back, 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 back. I break, you not go fit. You have to first of all invest in yourself. Once you invest in yourself, you can to select. That's why you see some women. I get one lady that time. She not get picking. Uh, none of you know her, so I can call her name, Sister Faith. She'll be like, on Emma, gay, gay, bono, la, damn, bono, eh. Emma say, gay, gay, eh, tita. Then I said, this woman to the cellar. Oh, say, no, my, na, mare, na, de, de. I be carry your own, they go. When I get sense, now say, ah, I see where Sister Faith is select. Because she too love herself. She don't just want to carry any man. She won't, she won't carry man. She will carry man. No, say, now that woman hand that for no that time say, I like my husband to travel. Like just come out three months. If you can, everything go freshen up. I was, I wish can marriage be that. It was now I realized. Sometimes you need that hair. You need that fresh hair. Travel for a month. Come back and everything just come up again. Very sweet as, as when we met each other. I was criticizing her today. I'm like, oh, wow. I see because now I'm using my brain. What you need is for you to be able to use your brain. Read a book. Start with small ones. Go. If you know not buy book, go on Google. How to be a better woman. Do some research. Read them. You have to believe it. You have to. They'll say, wait till they Google. Not be people where they Google, right? This and this are research. They don't use human being to try them. Then they know that it works. Do research. Help yourself. Don't just stay there and everything will be fine. Everything will not be fine. Be a better woman. You don't need a man. When you're good, you're better. You need a man. That time you come, they say, and get this single mom will send me a message. When she carved the camera, where she need, now say, now so. Now so. Say the mom must get passports. The mom must they work full time. Ma way you tell say let's jet off. He go ready. Yes, because he get points where you day. You no need quick equipment. Say oh you no get paper. It's fine. God will bring paper. You probably don't need that. It might be for you, but not for me. I talk and say ma way not get shishi uh, paper or anything. You know come where they. I no one can go back to where they before. Brother, once you're stable, because I'm stable. If you're not stable, you go carry person with stable now, they the same place. And if you're stable, you go carry who not stable, say you want help them, you'll find yourself join them. Because negative things is more intoxicating than good things. You have to know that. You have to know. So all of us do. I live with both for Switzerland. Come meet uh, Ekia Nehui for a year. Okay? I have to start to work out again from the beginning. Because I have that mind of, oh, come on, he ain't get bonane, go, ebo, he get money. Um, Claudio was earning like 10,000 Swiss francs every month. Okay, that's how rich he is. 10,000 every month. He was a mechanic for this, um, 
this supermarket that time, very big German supermarket. He was the mechanic repairing the en engine. As this guy was on my neck, I was like, oh, ma, we'll get money if we come together and pray. The Lord said we will shake mountain. The Lord said when two or three people are gathered, the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, I can't, I can't shop Sansan for UK. I can't, I can't shop Sansan. You know, you don't want to make that mistake. If you know, say, get where you did, stay there. Say, ah, oh, boy, this, that. If you see where you did, it's peaceful for you. Stay there. Stay there. As I be now, nah, no, go carry John Paul. Come say, nah, me want to come make John Paul life better. And I'm not Jesus Christ, yeah. Na ekia queen na be na ekia specializing. I know the I know be Jesus. I know the repair people life. I'm not be me. So why are you saying that? I know fits experience. I know I come UK come they eat sansa, and now I live rich oibo. They run the con say everything will be nice when two or three people are gathered. You come upon the Lord, Father. You say when a man find a wife and he find a good thing, I go pray for my husband. That good thing God go give her. It go, it go. You die king, you die king. Your shop sansa don't cook him for you. As I said here yeah, now. No evil come to me. Say you not get red pally. You not get work. You know they drive me say this. Ah, your eye open. Me too. I get my own. I don't want person where I come to support. No. No. No, 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 no. Or person where I want to repair mentally. Say, I know things. I've read so many books. I do this. Okay, so we can be together. I will teach you. Not be me. Not be me. If you they miss your mama, who are you in Nigeria? Amen. I'm not. Now who want out of my life now they find no be who I want come on this small one when I get I'll go they put and say eh, you they finish a sentence some of them now they finish my sentence and that's what it means now nah. now that one my boyfriend me no be that no be as you take take out oh, any any my time no be so don't finish his sentence don't finish it for him let him be a man that is, has spoken let him be no cover for him talk him as he be. Sometimes people will not do your marriage. Now they see what they wrong for your marriage. Listen to your friends. Men have men. My way not get good attention for you. Go they fear if you make new better friends. Me will be a care queen. My friends are married women with secure husbands. We go even talk to me for fun. A care queen, I want to arrest you. They spoil my wife for me. We joke. As we they talk about, imagine being my friend. This spoil, spoil thing where we go they talk. I will want to go come on go Samek here. I did discuss them with these married women. Their husband not getting security. You go the cover for your husband, go the cover. Husband will go one, may you run from AK Queen. May you run, may you for not get brain because he no saying they press you down. He no saying they cover you. He no one may you know. This married women where they follow, nothing where will not they talk. <laughs> Which they with the gist about holiday. Now I say that holiday, no, no, in my wasa, make your holiday, in my wasa, you understand? We they talk nonsense, their husbands are not insecure. No my way, be say you're the thought, they say you're a friend with a kia queen. No, I don't want it. Because you know what made you get sense. You know what made you get sense. You know what made you day independent. You know what made you feel talk, made you feel express yourself. What you to say that can man be? Your friends go come tell you, sir. Your husband said the way it is, they do. You say, no. Now, because say yesterday, you not feel good. No cover for her. Tell them, say, yeah, I know sometimes. That's what they do. Very simple. No come and make excuses for her. Because who not do your relationship sometimes? They see where, pa. That's why you see we single. <laughs> we single. The tis where would they see? The tis where we had they see. You know, see quarter. Because we are not inside. We know all the good relationship. Each single person advise you for your relationship. Take on. If you just need help. Better truth. Straightforward talk. Just call single person. Say my husband is like this. They go tell you in and out. Because we the follow men. The, like me. Now if I talk to a man. I will tell him from the beginning. Say no strange attached. Nothing. We, are, we just want knock. Me will leave. If they come, the truth will go, they come out from their mouths. The truth will go, they tell you. The truth will go, they don't hear, it block. It block. 
Don't come say, ah, yeah, even me too, you know, I'm not ready for relationship. I just need a woman, you know, you are very beautiful. It's so nice that you just, you don't need anything, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say I need relation. Let me, let me talk and say I need relationship before. In go say you need relationship, may for to sleep with me. If you sleep with me, finish now, you not call me tomorrow, I can't they cry. I can't they cry. Because I say I define something, why? Be say I not define. Now we the sea road pass. If you want to talk about your marriage, call me. The let where you not even tell me I will shine up for inside that thing. Where you, now we the sea road pass. You have to know that. Stop covering for them. A man where they tell you say run for your friend, run for your friend, run for your friend. When you know say that friend a good friend, you run from the man. Ask him why. This woman is always been there for me. She need go. Why you say my own? Because he want to cover you. He no want make your friends know. Some of you something go happen for una marriage. You na not see where wrong go. Because all our friend don't turn on our enemy finish. They don't turn on our enemy. I rather leave marriage for my friends. I rather I tell you, friends why don't they carry they go? Ah, prick don't come and go. They are still there. Prick, different prick, pa, 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 in and out, in and out, in and out. My friends are still there. They are still there. Honestly, they are still there. They're not even the feel they can't the prick. Why well, don't do tire? But they still there. Get one friend when I get for Nigeria. I know that, I know if you tell you how many heartbreak, how many may heart I don't break. He's still there. If I call her today, now our friendship will continue for way for He's still there. But I don't do different men tire. Please. What you need is you. Know who you are. Know where you're going. Once you know that, you know feel ashamed for your body. You know feel ashamed for your head. No shame. You'll carry your children. Come on. Very peacefully. Very peaceful. If they see your children, they don't go even say they don't get papa. Because Pepe, but you know that you just want the best for them. You're just doing what you can do for your children. You don't need a man, please. You don't, honestly. I mean that. Ma, read some comment. Wow, nice one, babe. Love you, dear. Thank you so much, guys. Our friends, uh, our friends have God for a friend. No, believe your husband for a friend, abusive husband. You don't see, you don't see some candy boss. Not leave your husband for a friend. Have you seen some husbands? Have you seen some husband? Your friends are trying to rescue you. They trying. They know that it's bad. They trying to rescue you. You have to listen. It's very important. Abusive men. They want. They want to isolate you. That's what they want to do. Isolation is the first thing they do. First thing you their relationship. They tell you say not talk to that person. You not like this your friend. They're trying to isolate you. Please don't take my word for it. Go. And do research on it. It's the first thing they do. Isolation. Men that are abusive. Even women that are abusive. The first thing is isolation. I don't want you to go out with that your friend. I don't like her. It's my friend before you came. It's my, she's been my friend before you came. He's been my friend before I met you. Why you want to isolate me from them? They've been my pillar. They've been my encourager. They've been someone who's been there for me when I had no man. Why would you fall in love with a man today and tell your friends to go kiss your ass? I don't get it. Tomorrow we show that you cry, put. That's what I mean. I don't think you get it. That's what I mean. You're in a relationship is pushing you away. Unless you don't have good friends. If you have good friends, I don't think... Um, lovely. If you have good friends... I'm not sure say you talk with you, they talk. So good friends, I mean better friends, where mean you're good. Where before something negative thing, where they want me, you not see. Don't, don't pluck and come off a road, me you for not see. I'm protecting you. You would, if you have those kind of friends. Um, so yeah. Oh, I, I don't do friends anymore. All right, I see. Yeah, I know, you know, some friends are still, um, they're wonderful. So I hope you have and uh, you find the good ones. You need it. We all do, even if not one. Where would they just where would they fit anything? So we all do really. Lot of Nigerian men are bad. Um on love, all is lost. 
I know, right? Yeah, they have, I think it's the way they're raised. So single mom, I please, please. Some, a lady told me she got this in the cart. Um, read it. It's amazing book, honestly. Oh. Single mom, two different departments, right? So, yeah. You're a mom, right? The head where you tell be a mother is different from the one you're in love with. This book teaches you how to put boats um, in different places, right? Like for me, <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't know that man. I'll just open the door for you. I'll push you for, for me to choose you over my picking. It's not going to be possible, unfortunately. I'm sorry, you know. And um, so this book is really good. Someone told me she had it. See, <laughs> I get this place when I roll see an absent father is better than listen let me read this place for you i underline her okay mm -hmm. i tell you the power of this book listen 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 bring your ear come an absent father is better than abusive one a lack of help is better than a help doing badly okay Having to be strong by force is better than suffering by choice. Do you get it? Why I tell you this book is going to be like change your thinking. If you be passed away, be say you know better thing and you want really do one. This book go change the way you, that, you see that way where you did think before. It go change your sissy, the sweet. I underline us. Yeah. I underline. I'm going to read that for you again absent father is better than abusive one a lack of help is better than help doing badly okay having having to be strong by force is better than suffering by choice suffering where so many women they go for their marriage we we can't become strong by force like me i became strong for my daughter for ah. I no, no, no. I became this lioness because of my picking. I just want the best for her. I became that. Okay. When a woman step out and chose to face judgment, backlash, and lack of resource, this book is in fact get it. You need this book. If I say my continue to the read, it go just well, they will see they read, they read, they read, they read, they read, they read. Enough. In this book is absolutely amazing. Your your tone strong woman by force is better than say you go to suffer by choice. So you you see, I underline. <laughs> I underline that place. So ladies, single mom. A single parent if you're still a single father as well i know women are absolutely amazing if you're single they probably just want to come in and take your children like their children and take care of them and um, so i hope you guys um do better for yourself and know that you're beautiful you're amazing strong by force if needed do it for your children okay do it for your baby do it for your son your daughter do it for the child that you love the most listen i told the lady i said to her your children are the only people who loves you the most your children love you past your own mama and papa your kids they love you more than your parents that's one thing you need to know they love you and you want to give back that love they see you as hero they see you as their protector this if anything fall for this as bam when i sleep i know go bed go carry my picking say mama and hey, we need to hide no and they go down you gotta take me first before you go up once you take me i'll not say i try my best i did everything i know fit then you take my life before you go up go meet my picking for up say something for our head la it is impossible never i don't even t and at the command because that i have to be strong by force okay 
and not suffering by choice. I need the support of a man. I need my around this house. You can't suffer by choice. Being strong by force is better than suffering by choice. You understand? So that's why sometimes when they call me names, I'll just the last. If not, not the shit when I they run. I'm not sure so now. Talk to me. You will not think they talk to me. So all the things makes me laugh. Like all this, I don't know where they pend. I know what kind of mother I am. I know what kind of woman I am. I know every day I do things to better myself and make sure not to please anybody but to show my daughter that you can be amazing if a mother raised you you can be strong they're great people obama was raised by a single mother even if she got the help of her mother it doesn't mean anything he was he's a he's a product of a single mother so a single mother that is doing great if you raise speaking you want to show to your children that you can't be a better person remember they don't do what they see they do what is putting in them mentally that our children can never be us they can never be unless you're ignorant that's when you say oh you're picking see you they wear pants they'll wear pants no they go wear skirts me i know they wear shorts in okay my baby they always they tell me mama i don't want to wear tight in my uniform i just want stockings so my legs is showing you know i know they show body I, I like jeans, I like dress, I like all this thing. They know what they see. They never becomes what they see. Say so you they go out for night, they call you, they this. Some people they were not parents for Nigeria at that time, they smoke. Today you don't smoke. You never, you not smoke one day. So you are never what you see. You're what is putting in you mentally. So I hope you get that. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh show me the book. Oh, yeah, of course I will, Rita. Yes, I will. my parents are calling me like, see, single mothers are for grown men. All right. I did a video about this book before. It helps me a lot. Honestly, guys, I want to tell you, this book helps me a lot. Rita, yeah, it is. Single mother are for grown men. Not only that, don't forget your crown. This is especially for a woman. Knowing that you are crown. You know what? Forget your crown because of Akia, because of my way getting security, because of my. You want to be a better woman. Don't. These books are not expensive. Um, see, single mother is for grown men. See, single mothers are for grown men. So when you're a single mom, you're for a grown ass man. You know, before quick, quick boys, we don't know anything. If you be say they're not get picking, but they're grown mentally. That's what it means. It's very good book. It's written by Derek Jackson. You can find it uh on amazon i'm doing advertisement for him yes i will gladly do it because his books has helped me so much be a better woman and so the other one don't forget your crown like this book is powerful like i read this book two times that's how powerful it was for me like in my brain tell you not to finish a man's sentence it tell you not to talk for man he is what he is he is what he is take it he told you he's a controller he is a controller if you don't want it move on so this one is another very powerful book if you're a single mom and you're looking into getting into relationship if you know you're ready you know this just make you want to be a better woman rita oh that's the book and um, single mother for grown men. Do you want to take a screenshot or something? Go on. There you go. The other one. Don't forget your crown. You know, you're a queen. You don't want to leave your crown for anything. You know, if you need to drop your crown and you want to come out, you'll carry your crown, put it back on. So this is the other book. Don't forget your crown. Amazing book. I, re I wrote, I, I read it twice. Very good books. And um, they're amazing books. And you can follow Derek Jackson on every platform, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. And um, so, yeah, you can follow him and he do some, you know, uh, another thing aside whereby you have to pay for that. I think it's called Don't Forget Your Crown. And you have to go in there and then pay. You get to talk to you face to face. He's he's fantastic. Go check him out on social media. He's absolutely amazing. Some of you know him. I used to share a lot of his things on my Facebook. I still do. And he's amazing. So guys, I'm single father. I will be doing my own motivational speaking tomorrow. I will come and join. What's his name? I will come, please do. And um, it's nice. Oh, lovely. I'll come. Let me ping your comment. Where is it? I will come have a look.
Ma reply you ma for Sam. Is that true or you're joking? People they love. All single father be online 9.30 tomorrow. Lovely, I'll come and join. Is that UK time or Europe time, please? I'll come and listen. And so, yeah, guys. <laughs> The, the jealousy if you're a single father the same thing okay you just turn into a woman and this book is not only for women it's for men to know what a sing what a single mother you know and what how they can behave around single mother and how they can be a better man it's absolutely amazing it's not only for single mom but for a single mother it's time for you to know at the same time a man if you're dating a single mom i had one guy who went to get this book and he said he was dating a single mother that this book this book really helped when i talk about it and um, so yeah you should do a video for single father and um, so yeah um, get it. See, I just say, now only a care, you know, nonsense. The way I think they present my AK show, you know, no say, not different head again, mumu. <laughs> nonsense. I'm not doing what I'm saying. So, um, so guys, um, women, um, go try it and remember, I tell you, say, if man, they shockalize you, you go the other way, okay? I don't care if I get backlash for it. It's just, it's a process of healing. You understand? Um, some of you has been abused and you don't want to see my for I and you don't need to keep doing what you don't do now say I don't enjoy um on Saturday I'm going to talk about not enjoying sex I don't enjoy sex I don't enjoy sex that might be part of it okay you want to do it with someone else and do it with another thing and do it find yourself and then you come out like Whew, I know what I'm doing now. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys let me go again today. Um, because you guys are running for you. Too many single mother uh, in Europe. Yeah, because you guys are running away from your responsibilities. Yeah, I just so, so told you my story. Did you? Were you not here before? And now, not wrong. Not be we wrong. Okay, we not carry picking wrong. No woman want bones get belly say oh i just want bomb except you be rich correct woman over nine okay like if you be grenadian picking yourself you know what i just need that picking my my that belly may you they go my power buy private jet for me my power do this my power do that my power do everything then you just carry the picking becomes a responsibility and so the men are running away from their responsibility if you were here from the beginning you will hear the whole story not be we Person, mother, wow, tell say they irresponsible. Now be the one way born for hospital run come out. And as soon to see the cost. If you know, say you born your picking, you carry and come house, you can't take care of that picking. You are amazing. You are amazing. Ma I tell you, this was soon they were tell now, but he brother. Yeah, maybe wife go don't see he girlfriend go don't see my video. The day man not pull mat for where the day. When you're here with the they they Belgium, all right. The man they work for, yeah. Not only she they do everything, but she get man, no. She have a man. Not only she they do everything. She's single mom. So some of you are at home. Your husband don't do anything for you. They don't support you morally, emotionally, mentally. Nothing. You're a single mother. You're just suffering by choice. But we chose to be strong by force, you know. So if we say me, we look on. We kind of. In a way better persona because we know they think we don't get depression nothing we just know say this is our battle to fight and we wake up in the morning we move on all right and um, so don't think in any way you're better than any single mother ladies i will not advocate we day here okay if you know say you know see the wrong things things not go wrong you someday you will see the wrong things nobody will be perfect for all of us the passion okay like they put something under my boobs now and uh -huh. all of us they package and package put on push and go up now so we they push ourselves they go all right no one is perfect just do your own thing on your own spare time make sure say you get the tools where you know say you take the work so not be every every house where they build not be the same you understand and uh hey -huh. you feel can't turn up now you can't see better power so you don't they turn up since on our way build four flat for nigeria that time the four flat don't turn like this but those small small guys will be you know our yahoo yahoo criminals where they nigeria the house where they build he passed so many ones where we will build that time where will they italy you they feel me so if you are just coming now do your own thing not copy copy anybody run your own shit you understand and so you see come better pass us because you get all the better tools we will by ourselves they carry our brain they go they use and they manage but you 
you are taking from here, taking from here, taking from here, taking from here. You'll be better than all these people where they talk, talk, even me. So don't feel ashamed. Look at the mirror. See, I like mirror. <laughs> I like mirror. I like to see myself. See, I like to look myself for mirror. Huh? Now me, they tell myself, see, I find I pass mirror, eh? My yash go double. I say, ah, oh, when me can be me, I de praise myself. I de tell myself I'm beautiful. I have a stretch mark in order when many, I call them beauty mark. If you don't sleep with me, you look my body, you ask me, it's my beauty mark. Okay? My beauty mark, it's not easy to get for body. I get results. If you don't see get results for us, celebrate you as a woman. You are beautiful. You don't know what you be. Okay, <laughs> time. I'm going to go look my previous, previous, previous video. The power where you carry as a woman. Even if not the one where they in between your leg. The power where you carry. You don't know. Know it today. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're great. You're fantastic. You know what? When my picking wake up in the morning, we dress, she go to the mirror and say, Mama, I'm so beautiful. Now dreadlocks my picking they carry. And because I don't want to pressure her to plait her hair. I want her to know that she's beautiful with her natural hair. I know the poor relaxer. It's fine if you the poor relaxer for your picking hair. If you the weave your picking hair, it's absolutely fine. But because I was never told I was beautiful, I don't they carry low cut before I know say na coily hair. I guess yeah. nothing in my hair, no cream, nothing. Na coily hair. Growing up, I don't know say I get coily hair. Man, I ye relaxer. We use relaxer spoil our hair. I don't they cut hair before I know say I get coiling hair. I just talk and say my picking hair no relaxer. Now natural dreadlock my picking they carry. I they roll on with foam. Once I roll on, I'll come pack and pack and pack and like this. Go carry and go school. She'll come and nothing make me feel good. And my picking stand for me to say, Mama, I'm so beautiful. My hair is amazing. Oh, it makes me feel good. It's what she hear, what I put in her. Not be waiting should they see or not be the naked body where they pass this ass. Not be the car where they ask my friend the way where can I wear sir. Not be that one my picking they see the good ones they love when they pack it sir here. Every day, every single day. When she's crying, Mama, I just love you. I wanted to say I love you. I just want to say I love you. That's all she says. Because it's what she hear from me. Alright? Do the same. You'll be fine. Go to the doctor. If they say you need antidepressant, please, mommy, take it. It will stabilize you. All right? Show us your baby picture. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that got to do with anything? I never from the beginning post my daughter's picture. You do where? You do where me or be so conscient for free. Not be because of who now. You see that one where they run from irresponsibility. You not go see her. You go pass the picking for her. You know, no no need to not show up say my picking we are money my picking we are gushy i want post on if they look on for free no show on no no let us it go they'll the pass their children for road they know no one since you say you know what can't find your picking you know what can't see her. you're passing for road you know no one that night when i'm not savvy do people shake it when i'm not savvy do people shake it no post, even if they wear the most expensive clothes, the most expensive hair, the most everything, no post their picture. Let them they find the picture they go. Let them they find her. It go past the picking for road, you know, go no one. You know the damage where you give her. It go past her. They say blood is thicker than water. Now my blood thicker than water because I'm here that picking. If anything happen to me, in where you run from irresponsibility from the beginning, it go past that picking for Rodi. No, 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 post their picture. No, not be because of not for now. All my friends for video, my picking, they stay here. She they see. I know one may see for free. No, go see her. It go past the picking for Rodi. No, no, now that punishment you give them. That punishment, you know. And my fellow single father here. And uh, tell tomorrow we have meeting tomorrow. And um, it's fine. Hopefully it's a good meeting to encourage the men from not running from their responsibility. And making sure that you're encouraging young guys. I know if you talk about men now because they may care and not get prick. And um, so all I can do is encourage the women and make sure that they know how beautiful and wonderful they are. Being a single mother, being a single mom. You'll cash bullets for your picking. 
cost bullet this one bullet this one bullet everything they enter your head your whole land for your children you don't know how beautiful the girl when i talk to she's 24 with three children now say mommy you're blessed you're blessed you're day 35 tomorrow though they ask your daughter they don't know which one be the mama which one be the daughter you're blessed 35 years you're the twerk you and your daughter your daughter now day four years Imagine when you did 35 hours, you she go don't even the same here. You they feel me? Though if they ask, which one be the mom? Which one be you need your bless. You don't need the man, you need you. I don't know how to tell you now. I've been want to record the video put for you uh, YouTube my YouTube channel. Now say no, it not go sweet me that me come come for your ear. You're 24. Your first daughter is four years, uh, over four years. Your other one is three. The newborn baby is, I think, four months. You are blessed. You are blessed. You don't know. You are amazing. I don't know as I want to tell you, honestly. I hope maybe I'll probably call you um, later and speak to you. I've also meant to be hard working, avoid a fake life. Um, it's their choice, okay? Um, I've already told them they need a brain, they need themselves, and um, they need to be amazing and great. So me, I know they depend on man. So why do you think I'm going to tell them um, to depend on men? I don't believe in depending on a man anyway. They'll think they can control you. They can tell you what to do when you depend on them. And um, so you advise, go do live video tomorrow. Advise your brothers, me, they know they run from their responsibility. It's very important. And um, because we not choose to be, a, I not choose to be a single one. I don't know the way I take good. Many pastores. I was a Sunday school teacher. A Sunday, a Sunday school, a Sunday school teacher. I, <laughs> I never chose to be a sick. I got at the beg I beg. Go see my papa. Yamira me. Yamugo yomu lao. Yamugo yomu lao. No disgrace me. People know me for Italy. I did good church, you know. I mean, they follow pastor. I did this. I did this. Pouring, 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 pouring. I thank you, Yemeni Leva. Yemeni Okwa no Omawa Goni Leva. I thank you. Say that man, no pouring. He not pouring. I thank him. Say he not pouring. I they beg. I never choose to be a single mother. But today, I chose to be strong and look at me now. I never finish. May, may I arrive if you see. Moms, you're absolutely amazing. You guys are great. So, um, thank you so much. I need to go now. You guys, let me go. Jesus Christ, my dad is calling me. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.